Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I set up Google service ads for a local painting company. I'm going to show you how you can get a Google guarantee badge for your business, as well as run those local service ads. Now, this can work really for any service-based business, but in this example, we're going to be talking about a painting business specifically. Now, there are not too many people out there with that Google guarantee badge, so you are probably going to be one of the only people in your area with it, which is going to set you ahead of your competitors. Now, these ads are going to make sure that when people are looking up your services in your area, that your name is one of the top ones there. Let's face it. If somebody searches for your services and you're not one of the top three people that pop up, they're probably not going to pick you. There's no way that people are going to scroll through 15 or 30 different people just to pick your business. If you're not one of the top people on that list of service providers in your area, you're definitely missing calls and this is costing you a lot of money. So before we jump into this real, real quick, I think it's important to answer the question why you should care. You know, why do you actually want to run Google service ads? One, they're going to increase your local visibility in your area. Basically, people are going to learn about your services exactly when they need them. Two, you're going to get higher quality leads. You are showing your ads to people exactly when they are looking for your services. Somebody that is searching on Google, they know they have a problem and they know they need it to be solved. And you're showing your ad to them at that exact time. This is going to lead to higher quality customers and people who are ready to take action a lot sooner. Three, with that Google Guarantee Badge, that means that your business has been vetted by Google, giving you more trust. Number four, and I think this one is one of the top ones here, you only, and I repeat, you only pay for quality leads that you're getting. That means if somebody calls you off your ad and it's a spam call, if a customer is calling you asking for different services that you don't provide, then you are not paying for these leads. You are only paying for high quality leads that are actually people looking for your services. So we run a lot of Facebook ads as well. Now, what is the difference between Google and Facebook ads? Ideally, I believe that any business, any good one has a good combination of both. And here is why. On Google, you're going to reach people who know they have a problem. It's somebody who knows they have an issue and you're reaching them at that time. On Facebook ads, it's a little bit more sparking interest and in people who are inquiring about your services. So you're kind of hitting two camps here. One, people who know they have a problem and two, people who don't know they have a problem. So you're reaching different customers. That's why I think a good combination of both is the best strategy. Long story short, on Facebook, you're going to reach a lot more people. You're gonna get a lot more leads. The cost per lead will be cheaper, but they're gonna be a little bit less quality and a little harder to convert, and they don't know they have a problem. On Google, you're going to get less people. They will be higher quality. It's gonna be a higher cost per lead, but easier to convert because they know they have a problem. So I'm going to jump into the computer here and show you exactly what this looks like and exactly how to set this up. So if I go into the search bar and I search up, let's see, HVAC near me, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get people who are running local service ads. Uh, right now I'm in New York, so it's showing me New York HVAC companies. This is exactly what would happen if you had Google service ads. You would have this Google guarantee badge, which you can see sets you apart from some of the competitors. I'm in New York, so there's a ton of people here. Uh, so there's definitely more businesses. But, you know, these people with the Google guarantee are way more attractive than these people without it. This guy who's running the local service ads, if I call him and I'm a qualified lead, he would get charged. But basically, that's what this is. It's making sure that you are top dog right here in this spot. So how do we set this up? Now, Google service ads are different than regular Google ads. So you actually, it runs on a different platform. So you need to look up Google service ads. Local service ads right here. It'll bring you to this page. You can sign in. Now I'm going to be going over this specific account right here. So the very first thing that you need to do is you need to verify your business and get that Google Guarantee badge before you can run local service ads. It is a little bit different depending on your state, your location, your area, what country you're from. But basically, you need to have the local requirements in order to get certified by Google. Now, in this situation, we did have to recertify uh, for this client, 
because uh, he changed something up with location. However, you have to go through all these steps before you can start running local service ads. Now, step one is you need to provide your license for the service, uh, your painter's license or roofing or whatever service you provide. Uh, you need to submit that here. Proof of insurance. The reason why we needed to recertify for this guy is because he was offering flooring. Basically, you need to have liability insurance up to a certain amount. Pretty much normal, normal business insurance here. Uh, background check. That is another big one. Uh, you need to pass a background check. I would recommend doing this one first because it is the one that takes the longest once you submit it. Customer reviews. You need to fill out your bidding and budget. And then the billing information. So you need to hook up a card to the account to start running the ads off. of. So once all of this is submitted, it'll probably take one to two weeks for Google to review everything. If there are any issues, they'll send it back to you. But basically, I recommend filling the stuff out as soon as possible so that you can get approved as soon as possible. Once that is done, and once you are approved, you're going to go over to here. You're going to go over to profile and budget. Now, what we're going to want to do here is a couple things. One, we're going to want to clean up the profile. So make sure that you've got any photos there. Uh, you've got reviews from your customers. Make sure that the services that you provide are looking nice. So first off, definitely add some photos. If you don't have those there, I would recommend it. To be honest, we should be adding more to this one. Uh, next, let's hop over to budget. So in this situation, we're spending $6.15 per week. Now, that does not at all mean that you are going to spend that much. That is just the cap. If calls don't come in, you're not going to be spending that much. But if you're in a super heavily populated area, uh, that price could go higher and higher. But in the last week, we've probably only spent like between one and two hundred dollars. It just depends on how many people are looking up your services at that time. Next, and this is very important, filling out job types. Now, this particular contractor, he offers a few flooring services some general contractor services, but mostly he's a painter. You want to make sure that you actually are providing all of these services. It's going to come into uh, importance a little bit later once we do the call review, which I'll talk to you about. But basically, make sure that this is accurately filled out. If people are calling you about certain services that you say you provide and you don't, or if they're calling you and you're not answering, this will negatively affect your ads. So you want to make sure, one, you're answering, and two, this is all filled out accurately. Business hours, you can set this up so that people only call you during business hours and the ads are only shown during certain business hours. I highly recommend filling this out because, again, if people are calling you and you don't answer, that's going to negatively affect your ads. Google doesn't want to promote businesses that aren't providing what they're advertising. Next up here, service area. Now, in this situation, we're advertising in the entire state of Delaware. Uh, make sure that if you are crossing state lines, maybe you're advertising in a couple of different states, that you actually have the certifications in those areas because Google will make you submit that. Now, once the calls start coming in, we're going to go over to this thing, reports. So in the last seven days, we spent $290 that gave us five leads. The ads were seen 1,537 times. They were at that top portion, like I showed you in that example, 100% of the time. And this is when the leads have been coming in. If the lead was not good quality, if it was somebody trying to sell you something, if they were asking for services that weren't yours, you can dispute this lead and get your money back. So here's how that works. Let's say, for example, this lead didn't go well, which this one actually didn't. Uh, this person was asking for different services that this contractor doesn't provide. So what you can do is you can listen to that recording. If it is not going as planned, you can dispute it. And if it fits their qualifications, they can give you your money back here. There's a couple of reasons. If somebody's trying to sell you something, if your services don't uh, match what they're asking for, or there's a couple other things, but basically... You can dispute these calls here to make sure that you're not paying for them. And they take it off the next invoice. That's how that works. And you have 30 days to do this. So let's figure out how much money you can actually make by running Google service ads for your painting or home service business. In that example I just showed you, over the last seven days, we got five leads and spent $290. So over the course of the month, that brings us to about $1,200 in ad spend and 20 leads. So out of those 20 leads, 
let's say that you are only able to book 20% of those. Some of them, you gave them estimates, but maybe your price wasn't right, or maybe some of them changed your mind, or you know how leads can be sometimes. But let's say out of those 20 leads, you only book 20% of them into jobs. So that means that you spent $1,200 on ad spend and you got four jobs out of it. Let's assume that your average price per job is anywhere between three and $4,000, which I think is a pretty safe estimate. Let's call that 3,500. So four jobs times 30, 3500 that's going to give us $14,000 in revenue off of the $1,200 in ad spend that we spent. That means that we got an 11.66 return on ad spend. So that means that every $1 we spent on ads, we got back $11.66. Now, there's a couple things that I would recommend to make sure that you're squeezing the most out of those leads. One, you have to be responsive. If you don't answer right away, call them right back. Being available is extremely important. If you don't pick up the phone, chances are they're going to call someone else. And if they answer, it's probably game over. Two is going to be follow-up. Once you give these estimates, once you complete that, make sure to follow up with these people. There is money in the follow-up. I just closed a client literally today because I followed up with them. It works. Three, during those estimates that you're giving, make sure that you're building a lot of rapport with the clients, making them feel comfortable. Sales are one during that discovery process with them. They buy from people they like. So make sure that's done properly. If they ghost you or ignore you or something like that later on, it's probably because the discovery wasn't done well enough. So this is everything that you can do to set up local Google service ads for your business. If this is something that you want my team and I to set up for you so that you don't have to worry about this, we can do that. We will set all of this up, manage it to make sure your ads are running and showing in the right spots, as well as review all those calls and dispute them so that you're using your ad spend most efficiently and you're not paying for bad leads. If this is something that you would like to do, fill out the link below. There's actually going to be two links, one to sign up for our services. And then the next one is going to be to book your onboarding call. This is going to be a Zoom call between my team and I and you, where we can get into your account, gather your information. So make sure to book that call after you sign up for our services. All we charge in order to create and manage all of this is $500 per month, which pales in comparison to the amount you could be making by running these ads. And honestly, the amount you're missing out on by not running these ads. Our service fees alone will pay for themselves just by the amount you're saving on ad spend by having us make sure that you don't pay for leads that aren't good. I also left my email below. If any of you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can reach out to me there and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. I hope this video has provided you all with some value today. I hope you have a great and amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.